Elon Musk is quite literally building the future. He's transformed Boca Chica, Texas, population of six, into the home of SpaceX's most important rocket launch site. From there, Musk is reaching for Mars, the stars, and beyond. What was once a small, quiet Texas city has become a hub of activity and exciting developments. In fact, in the future, Musk's Texan oasis might be better known as Starbase. But what does Musk and SpaceX do at this Boca Chica site? What sort of high-tech advanced technology are they creating and testing down there? And more importantly, is this the place where the first humans sent to Mars will depart from? Let's take a good, hard look at Elon Musk's Texas Rocket Factory. Boca Chica, Texas, lies 20 miles east of the city of Brownsville and rests on the Boca Chica Peninsula, just two miles away from the iconic Rio Grande River. This quaint little town was only founded back in 1967 by Chicago property magnate John Capita. Sadly, the town has faced some hard times and was completely devastated by Hurricane Beulah in the late 60s. Like several tiny dots on the map in South Texas, not a lot has happened in Boca Chica. It is known for its hot weather, flatland, close proximity to the river, and not a lot else. In fact, if it weren't for SpaceX, Boca Chica may have eventually faded away and become another ghost town along the coast. Boca Chica changed in a major way back in 2012. That was when SpaceX founder Elon Musk named the town as one of the possible locations for his private commercial launch site for future space vehicles. There were several finalists in the running for SpaceX's selection, including spots in Florida, Puerto Rico, Georgia, and beyond. All of the locations that SpaceX were looking at are close to the equator, which makes them prime candidates for launching a rocket into space. The closer to the equator a launch is, the faster the Earth's rotation and the less fuel needed for success. Boca Chica and its competitors were in prime spots to make launches easier and more cost efficient. They were also great because of the lack of population while still remaining close to the big cities and with the availability of housing for staff. SpaceX didn't want to infiltrate a busy town and disrupt its way of life. As you know, rocket launches can be incredibly loud and who wants their windows rattling every time one flies into space? In the end, it was Texas that beat out the competition and in 2014, Musk announced that SpaceX's proposed spaceport would be built in Boca Chica and construction started on almost immediately. Originally, the plan was to have the company launch up to 12 rockets into space every single year from this location. This was a huge step for Musk, SpaceX, and commercial space travel as a whole. What exactly happens at the SpaceX rocket site? It was created to be the exclusive launch site for the company, a place that could support the firing of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy vehicles. That was the plan anyway. In 2018, SpaceX decided that the Boca Chica site would instead be only used to manufacture and launch the Starship. And what is Starship? Simply put, it is the prize jewel of SpaceX, and in many ways, the future of the company. Starship is a massive reusable orbital vehicle that is the linchpin of what SpaceX has planned for the next few decades. Costing less than the current Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon 2 fleet that SpaceX uses, Starship will be an essential part of commercial space travel and commerce. Ideally, the Starship will do a lot. It's going to help launch 12,000 satellites to accommodate SpaceX's internet satellite constellation known as Starlink. In just one launch, Starship could propel up to 400 satellites into orbit, whereas the current system could only muster up to 60 at a time. But Starship will do so much more than that. The vehicle is being built for long-duration spaceflights and will be able to reach far beyond the moon with important payloads. And yes, passengers too. Starship is a pivotal part of SpaceX's plan to launch space tourists into the stars within in the next few decades. In 2021, SpaceX said that it believes Starship will be flying large numbers of people into the cosmos in just five years. As you can imagine, a lot is riding on Starship, and that is exactly why the SpaceX facility in Texas is so important. This massive site is where the company is constructing a vehicle that could first take someone to Mars, and its success is completely necessary if SpaceX wants to deliver on its out-of-this-world promises. The Boca Chica facility is home to 500 employees who work 24 hours a day in 12-hour shifts to continue the construction of the Starship and other SpaceX creations. And they are always looking for and creating ways to make the ship fly better, faster, further, and for far less money. Although much of it is off-limits to visitors, there has been a lot of footage taken of the Boca Chica site. SpaceX diehards have spotted massive buildings that are large enough to craft Starship vessels, enormous gas tanks that store rocket fuel, as well as the enormous launch pad that resembles what is seen at NASA's Cape Canaveral. 
Canaveral site. It's a huge, sprawling location and is both overwhelming and inspiring at the same time. December 9th, 2020. The first unmanned launch of the Starship began on a quiet Texan morning. The rocket blasted into the sky, reaching soaring heights of 41,000 feet before it halted and returned to the launching pad as planned. However, it descended way too quickly and was greatly damaged upon impact. That wasn't the end of the launch troubles in Boca Chica. The second test flight also had a rough landing in February of 2020. Then just a few weeks later, the third launch vehicle landed well, but suddenly exploded just eight minutes after returning to the ground. But nothing could be compared to what happened on March 30th of 2020. The fourth launch vehicle of the Starship blew up in spectacular fashion in midair, sending pieces of ultra expensive SpaceX shrapnel in every direction for up to five miles. You would think that so many disastrous landings and explosions would leave Musk and SpaceX shaking their heads and throwing their hands up in the air. But that's simply not the case. Musk has long stated that the company expects a lot of failures. Each mistake is key to finding out what needs to be altered and done right. It will all lead SpaceX down a path to the far reaches of space. Sure enough, on the 5th of March 2021, the fifth Starship prototype launched from Boca Chica and completed a test run of 33,000 feet and landed successfully. The ship launched into the air at 6.24 pm and rose into the sky. After reaching an incredible altitude of 6 miles high, the ship turned off each of its three engines one by one, tipped over and began hurtling back down to Earth. From high up in the Earth's atmosphere to the small landing pad on the ground, the Starship traveled without a single hitch and landed exactly where it was supposed to. This was a major step for SpaceX and wonderful news for NASA, who are hoping that the Starship will be an important part of their manned space missions that are planned to start in just a few years. The Boca Chica site was started as a way to create all sorts of vehicles for SpaceX, but as the commercial future of interstellar travel began to center around the Starship, the company changed lanes and put more of a focus onto their biggest and most important creation. The world is watching and progress is obviously being made. What is next for SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site? The sky is quite literally the limit. Musk has stated that he and his company plan to stay in South Texas for a long, long time to come. In fact, in 2021, the billionaire announced its intentions to convert Boca Chica into a 21st century spaceport and was hoping to create a majestic resort in or around the town. Musk wants to found a city in the area of Boca Chica named Starbase, Texas. Starbase would include the current test and launch site, as well as more housing and tourist attractions that would bring in billions of dollars and grow the population by thousands. Although planning for this future location is in its early stages, SpaceX and Musk are already referring to the area around their Boca Chica facility as Starbase. Could this once quiet and nearly abandoned Texan town soon become one of the most advanced and promising scientific meccas in the entire world? Only time will tell. But if Musk and SpaceX have proven anything, it's that they really believe in the rocket launch site and see it as their gateway to the stars. What are your thoughts on Starbase? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more high quality content.